Welcome to the Booze Buddy Update. Top bar near you. Witches are real and whiskey worth seeking, yeah. The top bar near you? Well, last week I shared with you the best beer in every state, but now we need to celebrate the bar near you everyone should visit. Be prepared for floors that are mysteriously sticky. Frosty glasses you might have to fetch yourself and some sort of game, whether it's arcade, trivia on the counter, or my favorite pool. We're talking dive bars, and yeah, every state has them. And in each state, according to locals, one sticks out. So can we trust this list? Well, I can tell you that in my state of Vermont, Charlie O's is pretty infamous. So maybe they got it right. Of course, I'll always have a special place in my heart for the Old North Ender and rue the day that the Last Chance Saloon closed. Did your favorite dank bar make this list? If not, blame it on Yelp and check out the show notes for more. Witches are real, but... Not scary. I mean, no scarier than your local, probably bearded brewmaster. Alewives, as they used to be called, handled the brewing duties back in the day. And when did that change? Well, apparently as the calls for seeking out witches came about. And what were they mixing up in those cauldrons? Not children, but beer. Cats, especially black ones, were considered lucky as they could hide especially well and keep the mice away from the valuable grains used for brewing. The pointy dark hats? Well, they kept the hair out of your brew and signified the master brewers, as I suppose snapbacks do today. Sometime back about 500 years ago or so, things changed and the women of brewing stepped away from brewing beer uh, to avoid going up in flames. If you want to read more about the workers who suddenly learned it was illegal to do their work, read on at the link that is in the show notes. The third story after this, the Boost Buddy Update is brought to you by Green Mountain Payments, helping local business owners save thousands of dollars by providing complimentary credit card processing equipment and zero-cost credit card processing. Visit GreenMountainPayments.com or POSNZero.com today. Whiskey worth seeking out. Yeah, forget about Pappy. You'll actually be able to get your mitts wrapped around these 10 allocated bottles and won't be disappointed what you're going to find inside either. Except maybe for the price. Uh, what makes these a bit easier to find? Well, probably that price because they start at about $150 and go up and up and up from there. However, paying at an auction for Pappy might still be pricier than several of these. At number nine, for example, is Knob Creek, an 18-year-old at $170. Double is the age of your average Knob Creek. And then we move to number eight in the comparatively affordable Lagavulin 12-year-old for $150. Things can get a little dicey from there price-wise, but they do drop significantly to $250 for the number one pick. Keep in mind, this is sure to be hard to find soon enough, as Russell's Reserve was decommissioned at the end of last year. For some, this could be both the first and last time they get to taste it. The full list of 10 at the link. Remember to stay safe, drive sober, and support the booze that supports your local community. Have a common question or suggestion? You can reach out to me at boozebuddyupdate.com.